I am not in sunny Orlando, Florida anymore. This is not Disney's Hollywood Studios, if you can tell by the, the banner there. No, no, no. Abby and I have made it to Hollywood Boulevard. Now. Let's take a closer look. We're here. We're here. Yeah. This is so crazy. Look at all the, there's so many more handprints here than at Disney. Like, I don't even know where to begin. I know all of these, these names, it's just, there's Burt Reynolds right there. Will Smith, Douglas Fairbanks over there. Who's this? Matt Damon. And this is the entrance right here. I'm gonna walk up to these doors because this looks so crazy like compared to Disney. These guys don't get cleaned off as much and the doors are the exact same. They're just faded, it's old. Look at that, you can't see that at Hollywood Studios anymore because right there it says Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Can't believe it, in the courtyard of the Chinese theater. This is the plaque they have for, for Carrie Fisher out here, out front. Yeah, there's Julie Andrews from 1966 and next to it, Cher. The 100th anniversary of Hollywood. It's tiny Shoes. Tiny Shoes, Marilyn from 1953, almost said 56, 53, 6, 26, 50, Three. Wow. And there's Marilyn herself when she did that here. It's crazy they had the stairs that go up. A few differences here than at, than at Disney. Right here is the historic Roosevelt Hotel. Making our way down El Capitan. Got some more Chinese theater things here. It's crazy to see the real Chinese theater. I will say, check that out. Ripley's Believe It or Not. Right here is the Hollywood Museum. This is the Max Factor building. This is where Lucy became a redhead, right inside this building here, and where Marilyn dyed her hair blonde. Now it is home to the Hollywood Museum. But just like you see at Universal Studios Florida, the Max Factor Museum, right here. This is what they have on exhibit. They have the Back to the Future trilogy exhibit in here. Marilyn, super, all the Batman stuff, Catwoman, Hunger Games. I wonder if they still have Pee Wee stuff in here. I bet they do. And this is Mel's Drive-In, right next, connected to the Max Factor building. Yeah, I love the Mel's Drive-In sign here. And right across the street, here, check that out. Hollywood High School. So many celebrities went to this high school. See John Ritter there. See Bruce Lee, Judy Garland. So many different celebrities went to this school. Right across, since 1919, the oldest in Hollywood, Musso and Frank. So, so classic, I love it. Last time we were here, Abby and I were working on the Ed Wood filming locations from Tim Burton's film. And right over here is Bordner's. Right here is where Johnny Depp discovered Bella Lugosi in a casket. He was right in through here is where he was looking. And Johnny playing Ed Wood looked right in this building. He saw Bella Lugosi in there trying out a casket. All this behind. Looks the same, Ab. So cool. Isn't that cool? This right here, amazing. this is it. Too constrictive. Plan on dying soon. And they walk right down here. I refuse to drive in this town. That's my best That's Martin hard. Landau, Bella Lugosi. I think it's pretty spot on. Plan on dying soon. In, in the movie, you must have the horror. Yeah, this is the, the bus stop in the movie and you can see that in the background right here is where the bus and he doesn't know where his bus ticket is and Johnny Depp Ed Wood turns to him and says 
Well, I have a car, and he takes him home. I did those locations a year ago. Check out the locations if you have it. This is Larry Edmonds Bookshop, and you can buy posters in here. They have Halloween, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is amazing. Real Hollywood wig shop here. Since 1969, this is the oldest in Hollywood, Ab. Which one do you think I should get? Maybe this? Yeah, that Yeah, get some volume. Ooh. That, that's, that's it. That's it, or that one. If I knew now what I knew then, I wouldn't have had my little accident. That's what that reminds me of. Exactly. <laughs> Mrs. Argentina. Yeah, this is like Tommy Lee Wallace walking up on Hollywood Boulevard, like he said, and grabbed an old mask. And look, there's Michael right there. I wonder if they had the Captain Kirk mask in here. A little further down the boulevard, and here's Tim Burton's brand new star right in front of Hollywood toys and costumes, which I think is a fantastic spot for Tim Burton to have his star. And I mean, good night. Look at this. This looks totally like something Tim Burton could be behind, you know? Wow. We decided to come in. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. This is amazing. A real Hollywood costume store. And they have a whole section dedicated to nothing but Tim Burton stuff. Back outside, I forgot to show George Romero's sign right there. George A. Romero, the king of zombie movies. And then right here, Paul Rubin's best friend, Phil Hartman. And right next to Tim Burton's is Jamie Lee Curtis, the scream queen herself. There's Pee Wee Herman star. And right next to Pee Wee, got a little tribute to Paul Rubens. Love you, Pee Wee. And if you know, you know, if it wasn't for this man, there would be no Ed Wood. Which if you didn't know, Tim Burton and Ed Wood, my favorite directors of all time. And it's cool that they're right next to it. How you doing? I love people in LA. Ed Wood, Tim Burton, two of my favorite directors of all time. Adam and I always talk about this, but this Popeyes right here is Keystone Clothers at Hollywood Studios. I wanted to see these in person. This is Cyrus. He's on delivery. There's food in there. Like he, he drives around and delivers food. That's a real thing down here. We're making our way further down. That's the Church of Scientology now. They're kind of taking over Hollywood. Man, look at that. That's what dreams are made of. Hey, there's Bella Lugosi. Last time I was here, his star was really gross. He's get cleaned up. Right here, this is the Iguana Vintage Clothing and they've got Edward and Kim here. He followed us all the way from, from Florida. Capitol Records building, always like to see that. And there is the Pantages Theater, the historical Pantages Theater. I keep mentioning Ed Wood, but I, I swear, this is where the end of Ed Wood took place. They pulled up to the Pantages Theater. I see this a lot of times at Universal Studios Florida where Horror Makeup Show is. But it's cool to stand out here and see this, you know, in person, like the real, the real deal. A lot of classic movies in there, App. A lot of them. Okay. Back to the Future, the musical is going to be here at the, the Pantages Theater. And I always like to show this. Theaters, when they have their, their front entrance open, look at that. It's the ticket booth. How beautiful is that? Gosh, that's old Hollywood. Right through there is where Ed Wood, <laughs> Johnny Depp went at the end of Ed Wood. <laughs> And down the street, I love it. Just looking at all the, oh man, look at this. Pantages was designed, they have like a whole plaque here. That's fantastic. And take a look at this, the frolic room. I wonder how many celebrities would go inside the frolic room before or after seeing a, 
a movie at the Pantages Theater. Double Decker, and they're promoting Venom. We got a nice neon sign. And there's Venom. Wow. This is the old Warner Hollywood Theater right here. 1928. It says Pacific on it, but this was built in 1928. Look at that, and the two towers up top. Pretty awesome. Sad that it's closed, that's for sure. I had to step off Hollywood Boulevard just for a second because I want to go down to Ed Wood's apartment. This was also in the movie Ed Wood. This is where Bella Lugosi gave his final speech. Ed Wood was standing right here, and Bella was right here. It was way down, and there was a bunch of people out here clapping for him. Let's go see where Ed Wood lived in his final years and where he passed away real quick. Yeah, that Playboy liquor and wine store is where Ed used to walk down from his apartment right there. He would walk down here, get some, some drinks, and go back. And straight ahead, off of Kahanga and Yucca Street, these apartments right across from the Halifax apartments. This was the last apartment and where Ed Wood passed from this dimension into the, the realm of another. Ed was a, a dreamer, a weird guy, and I, uh, I like his stuff. <laughs> this is it, Ed Wood's last apartment. I'm not sure which room was his, but... This is it. This is a student housing development thing now. It's no longer, I think, like a public apartment. Ed Wood passed away here. He was cremated. There is no tombstone or head plot or anything for him. So when I come out here, this is like going and paying my respects to one of my favorite weird directors. All right, let's head back to the boulevard. Oh yeah, and the hat I've been wearing today is uh, my take on Ed Wood. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yeah, you can get that hat if you want. They've got a nice little, uh, they got a nice little portrait here promoting, promoting Angela Lansbury through all the different stages kind of of her life. She's got her own star. That's cool, right? Like we're really close to, her star only around here. Stars. Only 26 stars away. Buster Keaton star. I don't know if we're gonna see hers. Maybe it was the other way. I'm looking for it. Yeah, Saw Shaka Khan. It might be, oh, there it, oh there it is. Angela Lansbury, 26 stars away, yeah. That Sergeant Supply sign, I think you can be seen in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm ready for my close-up. Yeah, Adam calls him Buster. He's dressed as a devil. And I do like this, this gift shop here, Souvenirs of Hollywood. There's a nice photo of Elvis right there. And we're back where we started. There's people actually going in and seeing some films. That's amazing. We had a full day here, Hollywood Boulevard. Hope you guys had fun. I swear sometimes when you stand in like the right spot, you feel like you're in Florida. Which is weird, because when I'm out there, I'm like, man, if you stand in the right spot, you feel like you're in LA. It's like the best of both worlds here. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.